In our video titled Buying GP Stakes and Private Equity, we talked about GP Stakes investors that buy portions of private equity firms. Now, why do they buy those portions? Well, to gain income from a portion of management fees, a portion of performance fees, to gain income from balance sheet investments, gain co-investment access as part of the GP Stakes investment, and achieve a diversified investment by investing across all of the GP's funds. We also created a video titled MBK Partners, where we gave an example of a GP stakes investment conducted by Dial Capital Partners into MBK Partners. Since then, we've been asked to share more examples about GP stakes investing. Well, in our March 2023 video newsletter, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the Vistria deal, which is a GP stakes investment that was conducted by Hunter Point Capital and ADQ. To learn more about the Vistria deal, stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the Vistria deal, a recent deal where Hunter Point Capital and ADQ are investing in Vistria, which is actually a private equity firm. So this deal should be interesting. We'll go through the history of Vistria, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Vistria. Back in 2013, Vistria was founded by Kip Kirkpatrick and Marty Nesbitt. Now, before co-founding Vistria, Kip co-founded two different private equity firms. And Marty, well, he was the co-founder of the off-airport parking facilities company known as the Parking Spot. In 2014, Vistria closed its first fund, Vistria Fund One, with over $400 million in commitments. In 2017, Vistria closed its second fund, Vistria Fund 2, with over $870 million in commitments. In 2020, Vistria closed its third fund, Vistria Fund 3, with over $1.1 billion in commitments. 2021, Vistria closed its fourth fund, Vistria Fund 4, with approximately $2.7 billion in commitments. And in 2023, Vistria has remained to continue with the same focus on middle market companies that are in healthcare, financial services, and education. And in those sectors, Vistria looks to create value with its operational expertise, financial expertise, and policy expertise, as the firm has hired multiple public policy professionals. Now let's move on to the details of the deal. In November 2022, Hunter Point Capital, the private investment firm that was founded by Bennett Goodman, Goodman previously co-founded GSO Capital Partners, which is now Blackstone Credit, along with ADQ, a sovereign wealth fund from Abu Dhabi, invested in Vistria. Now, the details of the deal were not disclosed, except for one fact. The combined investment will be for a minority stake in Vistria. So let's analyze the deal. This is a great example of a GP stakes investment. Now, GP stakes investments are complex. So let me explain it to you using this Vistria example. Let's recall the structure of a private equity fund where the limited partners, the LPs, the investors in the private equity fund, and the general partner, the GP, the private equity firm, have a limited partnership agreement to form a private equity fund. And this private equity fund will buy companies that will be portfolio companies of the private equity fund. And then in exchange for running the private equity fund, the general partner gets compensated through management fees and performance fees. In this example, the general partner is Vistria. Now, in GP stakes investing, you have a GP stakes investor that buys a portion of the general partner. So 
the GP stakes investor will receive a portion of the benefits of the general partner, such as a portion of management fees and a portion of performance fees. In this example, Hunter Point Capital and ADQ are the GP stakes investor. Now, most private equity firms don't just have one private equity fund. They have many, just like Vistria has multiple private equity funds. So, a GP stakes investor will get a portion of the GP in all of the various private equity funds. Now, many investors start off by being an LP of one fund, then become an LP of many funds, and then eventually try to buy a portion of the GP. In other words, try to become a GP stakes investor, just like Hunter Point Capital and ADQ. Investors. Is there a GP that you are currently invested in that you really like? Well, if you have the capital, expertise, and connections that can be helpful to that GP, well, in addition to investing in many of their funds as an LP, well, and trying to negotiate co-investment rights, which you should already be doing, you may also wanna see if you can purchase part of the GP. And a GP stakes, transaction. If you can do this, you will not only get the benefits of being an LP, but also be able to share in the economics of the GP.